y'all. This evening we are out at Camp Sipper Canine and I'm going to be planting tomato plants in the back bed over there along with some other seeds that I'm going to sow. So I'll go over all of that with y'all tonight and then I also have some stuff to harvest in the garden. So let's get started because we got a busy night and it's been a long day already. So really excited to get these things in the bed in the back. So I'm about to start planting my tomato plants in the first bed that's going to be under the high tunnel. We went ahead and constructed this bed first so I could get these guys in the ground. I started them from seed about two and a half months ago. And they are stunted a little bit because they were in these solo cups for so long. But I didn't want to up pot them because I knew I was going to be putting them in the bed soon. So I have them spaced um, 18, 16 to 18 inches apart and I will be um, burying them pretty deep into the ground uh, when I'm done. So I'll show you all my progress when I finish. Okay, so I just finished planting my tomato plants and now I'm gonna plant um, the items I have that I'm gonna plant from seed in this bed. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll wrap it up and give you a recap of everything that I planted in this bed. Okay, so I'm done uh, planting this bed for now. I have some peppers in my greenhouse that I need to start hardening off so I can get them prepared to go in here. So let me share with y'all what we have growing here. This is a 32 foot by 4 foot raised bed. We will have another one here on this side that we will be doing some fall crops in. And then once these summer crops die off, we will succession plant more fall crops, uh, mainly brassicas. And this will also help us uh, keep the pest damage down and to be able to control the, um, the amount of water that this area is getting as well. So in this bed right now, I have uh, planted a couple of Kajari melons right here in the front. Along this side, I have purple potted pole beans, and I will be putting peppers all along this area. Here on this side, we have uh, rattlesnake pole beans along the edge here. Then I have planted golden zucchini, a couple golden zucchini plants here, a couple of gray zucchini seeds, and a couple of cocazelle zucchini which is a summer squash uh, variety. It's a striped green zucchini. I have planted that here as well. Uh, along the trellis here, I have some cucumbers planted. So I have Space Master, homemade pickles, salt and pepper, and suyo long. I will be putting peppers in this area um, as well. So to get started on our tomato plants, let me go around to the other side and start. Okay, so on our tomato plants here, I have a beef steak. That one was started from seed. This is a German Johnson that came from a sucker off of one of the plants over here in the garden. Golden Jubilee, also a sucker from a plant. Uh, both of these two are heirloom varieties, and so is the beef steak. Cherokee Purple, this one um, was started from seed. Heirloom variety. Pink Brandywine came from a sucker on the one plant that I have in the garden, um, and it is also an heirloom. We have a Pink Jazz, which I started from seed. And now here we have duplicate on the opposite side. So we have two Brad's Atomic Grape, which I started from seed. We have two Chocolate Sprinkles, which were from suckers off of the Chocolate Sprinkles plant I have in the garden over here. Two red cherry tomatoes, these were also um, suckers. Two get stuffed, and two San Marzano. I started both of these from seed. We have two black beauties that I started from seed. Two sunrise bumblebees I also started from seed. Two dances with smurfs, these came from suckers. Two uh, blueberries, cherry tomatoes, these came from uh, seed. Two berries, atomic grapes. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Brad's Atomic Grape. Berry's Crazy Cherry, two of those, I started them from seed. Two Sun Gold Tomato Plants, those were started from a sucker that's in the garden. 
uh, from a plant that's in the garden. Two Honey Delights also came from suckers from the Honey Delights I have in the garden. And then two rainbow tomato plants. Those were started from seed. I have planted some okra here. I have baby bubba okra. And I also have um, jambalaya okra here. And then I did some dragon's tongue bush beans here. On the other side, I have uh, cow horn okra, silver queen, and emerald velvet okra that's planted. I'll also, once those germinate, come back in and probably plant some basil and other herbs that, that won't grow too high. Maybe some dwarf nasturtiums and dwarf cosmos or something like that to go in this bed. So right now, I'm really pleased with how everything turned out. I'm going to let these plants settle. For a couple of days i'm going to come back and prune them and get them trimmed up and then i'm going to tie the ones that are tall to this cattle panel um but right now i am going to go get these guys uh, some water and then i have to water parts of the garden as well i uh, also have some things to harvest over here so let's go check them out so i was checking on um our lemon cucumbers here and this one has already like wedged in and it's growing into the uh, trellis here so I may have to harvest this one because he's already getting dented here might have to go ahead and take care of him so before I start watering I know that I already have some green beans to harvest so I'm gonna get these green beans harvested I might try to see if the kids want to come help me. They're uh, burning boxes and stuff right now. So that's way more exciting. And Ava is um, hanging out with her chickens. <laughs> her favorite thing to do. She talks about it all the time. So I'm definitely gonna get these green beans harvested. There are a lot of them here. Um, Got my bug glove on so I can eliminate any bugs. Chris already picked off a bunch when we first got here this evening. Wow, I just can't get over how big these pods are getting. I'm just so excited. So awesome. So let me get these green beans picked. Do y'all want to help me pick beans? What do you have in there? Chick chicks in there? Your bok bok? Yeah. Alright, well I'm picking beans. Do you want to help me or do you just want to play with your chicken? Okay, well you can hang out with me and help me a little bit if you want to. You want to help me pick beans? Bo doesn't have any shoes. What happened to his shoes? They broke. What happened to him? Just broke. What is your chicken doing in there? She wants out. Let her out. He broke it in the chicken. So I have some squash to... Man, that guy has been on there for probably three hours now. I have some squash to harvest though. So let me get the squash too. These sun gold tomatoes are coming in faster than Chris can eat them, so it's time to pawn them off onto someone else. I will harvest these tonight and uh, share them with our Semper Canine family. These are really dusty because of all of the, uh-oh, uh casualty alert. Got to tie this guy back up. Um, these are really dusty because of all of the... Um, dirt that we've been moving over here and working on that side so um yeah let me get this guy tied up and normally i would not um water again so soon but we've just had really really hot days and i want to make sure that some of these plants that didn't get a good watering yesterday morning have plenty of water because um and I'm seeing lots of melons coming out. But I just want to make sure that some of these things, some of the uh, plants I will not be watering. But the beans definitely need, need to be watered. The artichoke needs to be watered. 
my cabbage, which the chickens got in here a little bit ago and started pecking at it, but I need to water this cabbage again. And um, definitely make sure the melons have plenty of water. I have a spot here where I took up the micro cherry tomato, so I will probably go over and get um, one of the excess tomato plants that I didn't plant in the high tunnel bed and uh, plant it here. So I'm over here in the pumpkin patch uh, checking for any squash bug damage. And these leaves are yellowing. Um, I don't see any squash bugs on them currently. This is normally an indicator that um, they have squash bug damage, that the, the bugs have potentially um, uh, taken from the plant. But uh, I don't see I don't see any squash bugs in the area right now. Like, oh, take that back. There's one hiding in there, so I'll kill him and um, get rid of that guy or gal. And I will go ahead and cut these limbs off of this, the stems off of here so that the plant is not trying to continue to grow and put energy into this area. And then I will burn these just in case because I don't want to compost them, especially if they, they may have some other thing going on with them, but I definitely don't want any squash bug uh, reoccurrence in the future because I am gonna take precautions and swatch, uh, swap out the areas that I'm growing my pumpkin and squash in for next year. I've noticed that my Kajari melon is trying to make its way this way. So if it gets over here, I will start trying to grow him up this trellis. So this trellis may be getting uh, real heavy later on in the year. And I had sprayed with neem oil um, the other night and you can see the damage. This this got burned by the sun. The funny thing is, is I sprayed the, all of these leaves in this whole entire area and just this part uh, has sun damage on it. So I'm going to make sure I give such pretty gourds. I can't wait for them to, to grow. They feel so cool. Like they're just so soft. Um, I'm going to make sure I give these plants plenty of water. Um, so they can try to repair themselves if there's even any way to repair. Over there, Chris and Bo are constructing the high tunnel they're putting in the rebar because we're going to have that hopefully up by the end of the weekend. And I did share this the other day. Some of my rattlesnake pole beans are almost ready to harvest. I cannot believe it. Um, and I'm about to start getting some beans on these purple potted pole beans. Oh, and did I share with y'all the hot pink green bean I have here? Isn't that cool? So awesome. All right, let me get this uh, garden watered. I'm already starting to get exhausted. I've been out here for hours. You ready? Go. Come on. What are all the plants? Not just that one, all of them. There you go. You're wet. Did you run through the water hose? Run through. I love having the kids help, but sometimes having to wrestle this water hose away from her is, whew, it's a task. I'll just leave it at that. All right, so I'm watering all these plants, getting them prepped for tomorrow, their first day out 
in the raised bed. It will not be their first day out in the sun because they have been out hardening off for at least two and a half, three weeks now. And they've been in, that's why they're all kind of wonky looking too because they've also been in the direct sunlight. They've also had a little bit of a challenge being in the solo cups I had them in. They really needed to be potted up, but I didn't want to have to repot them and knowing I was going to be putting them out here in the high tunnel pretty soon. Chris has the rebar staked for the entire tunnel now. He's got the rebar in tonight. We're not that worried about getting this other bed uh, constructed yet because most of the plants I'm going to plant in that aren't even ready to go in yet. Um, I do have some onions I wanted to start from seed, but I can't even really do those until we have this area covered. Um, we have some shade cloth too. So we'll be putting shade cloth on it. We have a 40% and a 70%. So we're going to play around with it and see what we may need to use. The 70% might be too much. Um, I did put some uh, worm casting in here. I have um, this earthworm casting that I put in the bed. I will also come back and fertilize these with fish emulsion here soon. So, going to get these watered down and finish harvesting in the garden. And then get these children home and fed and bathed and in the bed. It's Friday night. So we're going to see if there's any potatoes. And the side that um, might be better just to reach down in. But just that side of the dead, the dead ones, just to see what's down there. Must it be like nothing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, maybe there is nothing. You find my seat to it, you kind of think. We should be getting close. Yeah, no weeks so. though. connected to nothing. Can't, Can't even, even find, find the seed, seed potato? potato. You did put one in here, right? Well, I mean, it <laughs> grew out of the top. There gotta be something. You want to mess with this one? It's up to you. These, this is your project. Well, you just snapped that one, so you might as well. That's a seed potato right there. One of them, because we put like three in there. Three or four. I'd have to go back in the video and watch. There's nothing? Nothing? Tra la la? <laughs> Dang. That is really strange. You sure there's nothing underneath there? Uh, you see what I'm looking at. See what I'm looking at. Dang. What about in this pile right here? Oops, oh. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, in, there's nothing in there either? Man. Just a little bit. Good. We suck at potato growing, I guess. Yes. That whole basket had nothing. Just... 
Wow. That's a dead tomato limb. Oh, that sucks. Maybe we can reuse the dirt. Maybe it just needs a lot longer. I don't know. Something. But from what I've seen in other people's videos too, their plants get really big. So just a little ways to go. Now you shouldn't normally do your tomato plants like this, but we've been working over there on the tractor and they're re everything's really dusty. So I'm kind of watering everything this way tonight to get some of the dust off because most of our tractor work is done now and we've got some landscape fabric down over there. So our, our soil here is clay. And when Chris took all the roots out over there um it just turned into like powder clay powder so i just want to make sure that we have all of that off of our plants and that they're getting uh maximum opportunity to uh capture all the sun for their photosynthesis but normally i do not spray my plants down like this at all like i don't do it at all I just do the roots and um, we don't have irrigation set up in here and there's a reason why I actually prefer watering myself. Maybe one day we'll do irrigation, but this is a lot of money to try to do an irrigation system in this size of a garden um, for us. It's more cost effective for us to do it this way. Also, we just got our well installed um, earlier this year. so. We didn't have a way to hook up any irrigation up until recently. Um, trying to circle back over here and make sure I get everything. Chris just staked, put a large T post in over here for my San Marzano. Want to make sure I get the roots washed over there and make sure I rinse off our berry bushes because, as you can see, that clay powder just is coated on everything so I just want to make sure everything's cleaned off and able to get as much sunlight as possible we had to get this guy some more support got lots of fruit on this this is my first year growing this by the way I've never grown San Marzano but it was recommended by a lot of people as a great paste tomato and I love making spaghetti and I use a lot of tomato paste in a lot of my recipes, so it'd be nice to have my own tomato paste. And that's why, also why I got the sunrise sauce, which I need to stay, tie that plant up in the back there. And again, I wouldn't normally be spraying off my plants like this. Um, I'm just trying to get some of the dust off of them. Oh, let me show y'all this new zinnia that popped out today. Isn't this zinnia so pretty? It's like a peach color. It's got little bitty yellow stars on it. And here's the purple one. These are uh, California Giants. I think I got them from Peaceful Valley. And I still haven't staked this guy up because I'm lazy like that. So I need to go get a steak real fast. And I'm gonna harvest some of this lemon verbena and basil leaves tonight before we go home. We finally have a cantaloupe. So I gotta make sure that one gets pollinated. And I harvested my chamomile tonight, so I'll make some, um, oh, there's another one. I will make a, um, some chamomile oil for my skin or something like that. I think we're about to call it a day and head home. So thank y'all for joining us tonight, and we'll have more progress on the high tunnel and the raised beds over there. And as I'm planting new things, I will share them with you. And that area will be included in our garden tours from now on. So I can't wait to see how quickly all of that stuff progresses as we, um, as we give it a few days in the soil over there. I'm pretty sure it's gonna start going pretty fast. And by the way, look how many new watermelons I have, y'all. I just zoomed in on one, but I saw like four or five new melons since yesterday so this bed has got some great soil i guess we need to um, make sure all the chickens are up for the night 
and get my other little chickens in the car so we can head home. So we'll see y'all next time. Good night, y'all.